He's telling us to focus. Focus on Christ because he was an example to us. Because he didn't have it easy and he didn't have it without contradiction and he didn't have a life that was at ease. Amen. And, and look, look unto Jesus, the author and finish of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Amen. God has given us precious promises. We know what's set before us. And what is set before us is more glorious than anything we can experience in this life, in this dimension. Amen. And this life is a vapor. This is a mist. It's going to be over. If you make it 90 years, 90 years is nothing in comparison to eternity. 90 years of suffering to gain eternity is better than, year, than 90 years of pleasure and missing eternity. So we weigh it in the balance, amen, there's no way. If I su struggle and suffer every single day of my life, it is still worth it, it's still better, it is still glorious in the face of winning eternity, of what God has in store for me, amen. If he must, if he must perfect me through this to get me there so that I have character to reign with him in the millennium, then God be, praise be to God, this is what I need to get there. My goal is there, my goal is not here. Amen. Amen. If you're going to school to, 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 to become a professional and you have to go to maybe six, seven, eight years of school, you want a PhD in something, and, and, and you're going to school, and the reason you're going to school is to get the job. So as you go to school, you have to study, you have to write papers, and you have to be diligent about when you go to bed and when you get up and attending class and writing the papers and getting the grades and blah, 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 blah. And it's not so much that you want to write that paper and say, oh, I'm so excited. I get to write a 20-page research paper on a topic I could care less about. This is wonderful. No, that's not wonderful. That's hard. It's a trial. You don't like it. You have to do it. But you do it because of the goal. And for the glory that lay ahead, and Jesus endured the cross, amen, God help me to set my affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Help me to understand with reality, with revelation, the glory that's laying ahead. You think this is glorious, amen, just to hear the message. Wait until the very message himself, Jesus Christ, is there in flesh in the millennium, and you can see him and hear his voice and be under that rule in that atmosphere where sin is bound. My goodness, there's nothing here that can compare to that. And 40 or 50 more years of struggle and suffer is nothing compared to that. I, I say, God, help me. Help me to be like a mule, amen, and just put my head down and plow through the traces without complaining, without bitterness, without self-love. You know what's destroying our mental health? Feeling sorry for ourselves. Yeah. 